Hi, this is Asin. You are now watching Asin SL TV. Today, we would like to share how to add option buttons, link cell, and assign group by using VBA. We know that there are two types of option buttons available in Excel. They are under the form controls and ActiveX controls respectively. Let's start with the form controls. Go to Visual Basic. I'm going to use the current sheet that is sheet 1. So let's double click. As you should always start by giving a name. Note that that is no ways to assign group for the option button individually. What we can do here is make use of group boxes. So we need all together six group boxes. Instead of using for loop with a dummy, let's say i be set equal to one up to six, we can actually make use of the range of the cells. I'm going to set the group by referring to the first column and we run through each of the cell create a dummy it can be any word or any letters as long as it is not recessive this cell must be in the range bracket starting from b4 up to b9 type together with quotation marks close bracket and we can now create group boxes by using dot add function bracket unfortunately that is no suggestions at all since the group boxes is currently unavailable here but don't worry we just have to bear in mind we need to provide four arguments in the sequence of left top with height so we start with the left position i'm going to make use of the left position of the cell comma the top position also refer to the cell so we have cell dot top comma followed by the width bear in mind that each group box should cover all the option buttons of the same group and each group should have five option buttons so we should make use of the cell width times five comma proceed to the height also make use of the cell so we have cell dot height close bracket and i'm going to select this group box immediately once it is added so that we don't have to know what is the name of this group box but we can make use of with statement so with this selection we can change the caption on the name so we have dot characters dot text and be set equal to nothing since i don't need any name or any caption for this group box then i'm going to set the visibility of this group box be equal to false since i don't need any border to cover the option buttons that we have if let's say we want the border for each group then we shouldn't have this line start with width of course we need to end with width finish the first cell we should proceed to the next and the coding part for the group boxes is now done we can now proceed to create the option buttons unlike group boxes we only need one for each group but for the option buttons we should have it for all the cells required so i'm going to create another for loop so for each cell in the range for this time we should cover starting from b4 and up to f9 also type together with the quotation marks then instead of having group boxes this time we should have option buttons dot add also with four parameters starting from the left position also make use of cell dot left but then i'm going to split this cell into three equal parts and the option button is going to be placed at the middle of this region so we should have the cell plus one third of the cell width but we should bear in mind that the option button under form controls consists of blank space so instead of taking exactly one third of the cell before placing the option button i would take a smaller value so that it would offset the blank space and now let's press it to the top position i would refer to the top position of the cell next is the width so we have cell dot width recall that i split the cell into three equal parts so of course we have to divide three and lastly we have the height so we have cell dot height and i'm going to take only 90% of the height which is equal to 0.9 
close bracket and select immediately so we have dot select also with the selection we could set the characters dot text be equal to nothing since i don't need any caption or text for this case next is to link the cell so we link to the cell address we should bear in mind that the option buttons under form controls would link to the same cell if they are from the same group which means that even though we link each of the buttons to a respective cell but end up they will all link to the respective last cell of the same group so this is very important we should take note here start with with of course we need to end with with since we have link cell which means that the value will be written to the cell that we link in order to hide the number i'm going to set the font color of this cell be equal to white so we have we be white besides if we involve the option buttons in calculations to ensure that the calculation is always correct let's set the cell value be equal to zero finish the first cell of course we have to proceed to the next and the coding part for the option buttons is now done let's click on run and check the result so we have done it here let's select the last cell of the first group if let's say we click on the option button of the first column as we can see the value written one since this is the first option button of the first group so click on the second turn to two click on the third turn to three click on the fourth turn to four and click on the fifth turn to five this would also be the same for the rest of the groups let's check it so select the last cell of the second group also with a value of zero so when we click the fifth one change to five four three two and one so if let's say we wish to involve the option buttons in calculation for example to determine the average value so set equal to average recall that only last cells are linked so we should select the last cells close bracket and press enter so we would have the average value currently we have 5 plus 1 divided by 6 which is equal to 1 that's correct so let's select some option buttons to check the accuracy if you wish to show data part for this cell we can go to the home tab click on conditional formatting and set new rule next to format style change to data bar for the maximum for this case is always be equal to a number that is five we could also change the color to the desired one click on ok and we should now have the data bar that would change according to the option button selected as we can see here if you don't like this form controls we could also make use of the active x controls back to visual basic make use of the previous code and make some amendment for active x controls we don't need any group boxes so let's delete the code for group boxes and for the option buttons instead of select immediately this time i'm going to create a dummy to be the object so let's set the dummy let's say object in short form be equal to the controls that i'm going to add the code is not the same so we couldn't use option buttons but we should use ole objects and for ole objects we should bear in mind that we should include one more important argument that is the class type colon equal and the type should be forms dot option button followed by dot one it's a must to type together with the quotation marks since this must be in terms of string comma proceed to the precision of the option button the difference we should take note here is for each of this argument we should tell what we are referring so instead of giving the number we should let the excel know this is referring to the left position unlike the option button under form controls the blank space can be neglected so we don't have to take less space to offset the blank space but we can take exactly one third of the cell width 
Also, for the top position, let the Excel know this is referring to the top. We know that to make the background of the option button transparent, we can make use of the back style property. However, the code in VBA is not really working, so it's better we change the position. So for this top position, instead of taking exactly the same as the cell, I'm going to make a multiplier, let's say times 1.02 and for the cell width we should also tell the width so colon and set equal as well as for the height so we have height colon equal and i'm not going to take 90 percent but only 80 percent since we have a dummy here so instead of with the selection we could make use of the dummy object with this object for the active x control we do have such thing called characters dot text but we should make use of the object dot caption since i don't need any caption here let it be blank for the link cell would be as Exactly the same but this time we should set group name for each of the option buttons since we don't have any group boxes here so we should use dot object dot group name and be set equal to a dummy let's say j so i'm going to initialize j with a value of one so for the first group would be a value of one second group two third group three and so on so we should make a head count so that the group is assigned correctly so let's create a dummy let's say n be equal to itself plus one whenever we reach a value of five created by using if statement then we should press it to the next group so which means that j should be updated by one once we press it to the next group we should recalculate again so set n back to zero since we start with if of course we need to end with if also the font color of the cell should be set be equal to y but for the cell value instead of having zero this time we should use false and the coding part is now done so let's click on run and see the result simply click on some option buttons to check so we have false when we click on the option button turn through so select any cell and check so initially false click on the cell through to involve this option buttons in calculation for example average let's make use of the average function bracket for this time we should make use of the map function bracket select the array we should select according to the value that we have so we should have five arrays here select the first one comma followed by the second comma the third comma fourth comma and the fifth comma use the lambda function to create formula since we have one two three four five arrays so which means that we need five parameters so let them be a b c d and e comma followed by the formula so we have a which would take a value of one so we multiply one plus b take value of two multiply two plus c take value of three multiply three plus d multiply four and plus e multiply five close bracket to end lambda function close bracket to add map function close bracket to end average function press enter and we should obtain the correct value currently we have one plus two the divided by 6 which is equal to 0 0.5 that's correct so let's click on some option buttons to check the accuracy and the value will be updated automatically as we can see here okay that's all for this video thanks for watching hope you like this see you